Hello, and welcome to this student tutorial on how to use Padlet. So the first thing here is to notice that I am logged in to my Blackboard course. And I can tell by my name at the top right hand corner, I can see my name there. And how do I find the Padlet assignment that the teacher has assigned to me? Well, you're going to have to log into your Blackboard course, go into the content area of your course, and then you have to locate the Padlet. In this case, the Padlet is in the Submit Your Video Presentation folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here is my Padlet, right? And so and the title is student presentations in this case the professor wants me to upload my presentation onto this padlet in this padlet you can see that the names are already uh, placed on for each column if you don't see your name on the columns you might just have to scroll to the right and that's how you can see there are more names on this padlet now, right under your name, there is a plus icon. So if you go ahead and click on that plus icon, now I can add a title. Under that, I can write a description of my presentation. Right under that, I have several icons. The first one is an arrow pointing up. This icon allows me to upload a file to this Padlet. It could be an image, it could be a Word doc, a PDF, uh, any file type. The second one is to add a link. So if you have a link to a video or a link to an article, you can click on this link and the uh, article will be added to this to your post. The third icon is a magnifying glass and if you click on this basically you can do a Google search for images, videos, GIFs, audio, or web pages or web articles. The fourth icon is of a little camera and this will allow you to take a selfie of yourself and add it to the post. The last icon are the three dots. And so basically it's the same that we just mentioned, but there are a few more features or options added here. You can create a video of yourself. You can record an audio recording or a voice response. You can record a screen capture. You can also draw on a whiteboard. You can also place a location of where you are. And the last one is you can add a Padlet to your to this post. So for example, if I click here and I go to made, which are the Padlets that I've made, this will list all the Padlets that I've created. And if I click on one, now I can add a, my Padlet onto this Padlet. So if you have any questions regarding Padlet, you can reach, uh, reach out to me at Jose underscore Diaz1 at FIT nyc.edu. Good luck.